I'm Lynette Lockhart, and our farm name is Ventoso Farms. I'm Michelle Penaloza. And I'm Alex Cummings. Um, <laughs> this is my 34th year. <laughs> this is my second season. Let's see, I think this is our ninth season mm -hmm. of working together, so, mm -hmm. since 2010. Um, I was down in Villa Grande and um, had a small indoor there. I hate to even admit it because I hate indoor now. <laughs> Just a plug for small outdoor farming. <laughs> um, and I really liked watching the plant grow. And I don't smoke weed because I'm allergic to it. So, um, but I really enjoyed the plant. It just gives you such that set me such satisfaction. And so when I came up to Covalo, um, I was growing on the side, but I was still a therapist. And when it looked like it was going to go legal, Alex and I had to get into what was called the 9.31 program to go into the, we thought at the time, we were told at the time to get into the legal market. And so I had to give up my license as a therapist to do this. Oh my gosh. We need that list. <laughs> <laughs> Goji OG. From um, Bodhi Seeds. From Bodhi Seeds. Blueberry Muffin. From Humboldt Seed Company. Our token Papa Kush. Where's that one from? Jelly Roll, Cherry Rancher, L.A. Rancher, Grapefruit, Blueberry Pie, Strawberry Lotus, and several of these are new strains for us this year. So, um, Sky Lotus Space Cake Remix, LSDK, T1 Jasmine, Chocolope, Black Garlic OG, Platinum Goo Cookie, and Venom OG. Yeah. Mine's the blueberry. Blueberry muffins? Yeah, the blueberry muffins, because they legit smell like baked blueberry blueberry goods. <laughs> they smell like they're going to be delicious. I'm really excited for those. I think I'm excited about the strawberry lotus this year. Mm -hmm. I think it, that's we haven't grown that before, so I'm excited to see how that does. And I'm excited about the space cake. <laughs> There, Alex and Michelle, I'll toss that one to you. <laughs> well, well, we start everything from seed. Yeah. Well, you go ahead. Go, go ahead. No, I, uh, let's start it off. Okay. We start everything from seed and then... <laughs> um, let's see. We believe in growing outdoor, full-term cannabis that's high quality and only have organic inputs and... Um, I mean, we really believe that that ends up with a healthier, higher quality product for both uh, medical patients and now recreational users. And that in our final product, it shows that we use those methods and... Uh, we give a lot of individual attention to mm -hmm. all of our plants. Um, you know, we like know them. We're like, oh, look, this girl's looking like this today. Mm -hmm. Oh, she might need some seaweed. Or, oh, you know, like we're we, we name have a them. we name them. We have a relationship to them. We all kind of have our plant that's our favorite in the garden that day or that week. Um, you know that we, yeah, we have a relationship with them. We also um, have a vegetable garden. We believe in you know biodynamic, you know, companion planting, kind of having a diverse. Um, ecological environment for our plants uh yeah we they're sun grown and i think we um malix and i have talked about this through the years and now the three of us talk about this that um less is better with outdoor people have dumped crazy amounts of all kinds of things into their plants and you know feeding the plants not feeding the soil 
and we've really had the philosophy that if you build the soil the plant knows exactly what to do. We, you know, we've had so many fires through the years here, mm -hmm. um, and it's always a stressful time. You know, it's smoky today. It's getting harder and harder to see the mountains up there. Um, and, you know, one of the things that we're fortunate to have, ventoso means windy in Portuguese, mm, okay. and we have a lot of wind here. And so that keeps it at bay a lot of times. Yeah. But we also, um, on occasion, will give silica blast for heat stress and smoke, environmental stresses. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've given two applications this year. Um, and we tell them that they can make it through it. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> My goal in this inter industry, to be quite frank, is to get the uh, people that make policy and regulation to screw their heads back on straight and realize that this is um, a well-loved, well-tended agricultural product that meets both the medical and emotional needs along with in recreational wants of people. So getting the policymakers to settle down and get their heads on straight. If you that's, that's a hard question too because it's almost like for me my hope is my fear. I'm excited that the industry has opened up legally for people to have access to this product. Um, but I worry about small cultivators being left behind. So that, my hope is my fear with this, that this could fold into itself. Um, in terms of the future, I hope that, um, and I'm excited that some of the small farmers are getting in and I would hope that they can just continue to have access to the legal market in terms of growing. I think I would want the industry to grow in a way where it supports small farmers and um, that there's education that happens that allows people to realize that getting product from small farmers does make a difference in both quality and the type of community that you want to build and support. Yeah, and I think this is already happening, but I feel like I want to see more, you know, queer people, people of color, women, you know, it's not, I feel like the, a lot of um, the stereotypical industry is very bro-y, which is very one note mm -hmm. and not indicative of you know, the people and the communities that um, are part of the cannabis industry, that are cultivators, and I feel like our farm is a really good representation of, of stuff outside that, you know, like, it's not about, like, the highest THC content, though we do have that. <laughs> um, it's not about, you know, like, getting messed up or getting super stoned. It's about enjoying something that was grown with love with uh, an intentional, um, with intentionality for the, the land that we're privileged to be growing on and awareness of the community that we're within, you know, and thinking of the plant as, as medicine as well as, you know, an enjoyable recreational thing, mm -hmm. so. And um, for me, I think what I'd like to see is more one-handed farmers so I can share gloves with them. <laughs> <laughs> one pair of gloves? Two yeah, one pair of deals. gloves. <laughs> Just saying, I think it's important to know. Yeah. We'll keep an eye the out. Opposite of the opposite opposite. Keep an eye out. If they're missing a left hand, we can we do it. We're together. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs>
that people wouldn't have to live in fear. It's a good one. Synced but good. Anything yeah. to add? Um, I would say a wish for the industry is to continue to move towards professionalism, just like mm -hmm. Organic Can and Natural Cannabis Company has worked towards for a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, create just a good environment for both the farmers and distributors and the end user.